Yeah. But with Corrupted Keep, we're actually in the picks now. And we don't even have to be right or wrong because we nope. said nothing. <laughs> we didn't say anything at all. Cooler are going to lead this one off with the Ranger. Razy will be going for BJ first, then Galena. And there comes another BJ and a Galena. And here we go. Are we going to see Mirror Picks or is Razy going oh. for the clutch? Here we go. Razy's Keep. I was like, you didn't bump my clutch. Bot. Yeah, no. Uh, you didn't bump my clutch. You know, I got that. And with Razy, it's like he's a strong specialist in either keel. Yeah. Well, I say either. I mean, in keel and clutch. Yeah. He's very good at a lot of champions, but those are kind of his wild card picks that he'll put into a series. And because he's developed so many skills in both of those champions, like, well, you can ban one of them but yeah. you can't ban both of them. I mean, Cooler is going to be so careful with which fights to take, because even if he gets the frag, if mm -hmm. he's anywhere near low HP, you know that Raze is going to respawn on that clutch, and he's going to go for the refrag right away. But on that note, we are going to jump into the very first map Stop. of this matchup. It will be Corrupted Keep, and we are on Cooler's point of view. BJ oh. versus Galena. All right, so we've got no clutch right off the get-go. Uh, we got Razy who did manage to find the lightning gun early on. Cooler still to get it. This is a slow pace that Cooler can offer bring to a game. I know we're only in the first 30 seconds. Yeah. I, I was uh, talking earlier to people and saying that Razy's really a kind of ditto <coughs> player. He's going to mimic your opponent's style. He's going to try to do it better than that player. So I suspect that if he sees Cooler being really slow, he's only going to try and be slower. Yeah. Also worth pointing out that Razy is about to have his third totem up already. We're not even a minute into the first round. And we might already see that overstack come out right away. Don't know if Cooler's prepared for that just yet. Razy's still missing rockets, so that's gonna be the weapon that he will try to get a hold of, but Cooler keeping a close eye on that rocket launcher. Oh hello. <laughs> <laughs> Tiny little loft tap right there. 14 damage with the LG. Razy gonna play it safe, but he still hasn't put up his third and final total. I, I, I don't think he's necessarily going to unless it's in the middle of a fight or he's just taking the heavy armor, but at which point he could end up losing the totems if Cooler's going to start you know, taking them out. He needs to get some kind of desync going on the items in order to even have a chance of keeping those totems up. Yeah, I gotta say, I love the position of that second totem right on top of the teleporter. Actually, didn't even know that you could put one there, but here we go. First confrontation, oh, and there what? comes the totem damage. This should be Razy's frag for sure, but that rocket, oh my god, that was close. But it will be Razy getting frag number one. Cooler has got a chase. That was actually super sick from... Uh from Razy managing to get the totem damage in the middle of the fight too. I thought that was really, really impressive. Uh, and he can get those uh, totems up. That orb's going to miss. I think Razy should back off, put a totem down, get himself to 175 health. And he's going to be looking amazingly strong. So yep. he's got 100. You can see below the, the champion portraits, guys, the stacks. Blue obviously representing health. Green representing the armor. And when it goes into a lighter color, that's when we're looking at the overstack for that champion, which can be an extra 75 on top. One bar representing 25, of course. Yep. Razy is about to get that third and final totem ready for use. Taking the long range find so far with the heavy machine gun. And again, Brazy seems very comfortable with the lead that he has so far. Might be overextending here, though. We are doing a lot of damage with that bombardment of rockets. The frag will be going to the Russian. One to one, but Cooler is low. And here we go. This is exactly the scenario I was describing earlier. In comes Razy. Shield popped. Oh, Cooler manages to evade him. This is of the orb, but not for long. Razy cleaning it up. Oh, that frag he made it look easy. He does need that shield back. He might stick around and just go with the lightning gun. He's hitting so well, and Cooler just commits to the fight, feeling that obviously the clutch isn't that difficult to hit. Yeah. I can commit. People forget like how strong Razy is with his aim sometimes, especially with the clutch. Yeah, Cooler might have also been underestimating just how stacked Razy was after that previous encounter. The orb did go right through him uh, that he fired off as Ranger, so maybe he was expecting his opponent to be a bit lower. Anyways, on to round two. We're starting this one off on Razy, and instantly a lot of heavy nail gun damage coming out. Cooler! Wow. Okay, he got absolutely owned just then. That nail gun hit oh. so much. This is something that was Razy was doing really well at ESWC was his nail gun usage, and I'm very surprised that people aren't respecting that more. 
Yeah, of course, you need to be so careful with the nail gun, especially on land, because there's so little latency that that weapon suddenly becomes a force to be reckoned with even more so. But that's the weird thing. These, there's so many experienced players in this tournament. They should all know that, and yet they just, they're not paying it the respects. But either way, we move past this rotation of items. We've got a totem down. Cooler moves in the middle. There's a double back from Razy, but he's outstacked, out-aimed by Cooler in this fight. Definitely. I was expecting Razy to almost get that. That's basically how he outplayed Cooler. Ripped that double back, but in comes Razy. There is the mining drill. And of course, it's basically a lightning gun, but with unlimited range. No getting out of that situation from Cooler whatsoever. And Razy looking set to take round two as well. Heavy is up. He's going to find him. He's going to get away to try and escape this dual wield. Light armor on the floor, his health is still weak. Nail gun hurting and he gets caught just in the archways. And that's why it's really difficult with clutch. The map with those narrow corridors and archways, you can kind of get stuck on those. I was spending a lot of time speaking to Razy and he's really saying, you know, clutch is incredibly difficult to play at this level. He really loves playing the champion, but he recognizes the challenge is small to make it work. And he's going to run into Cooler there with dual wield and Cooler just picks him off out of the sky. Nicely done by Cooler. Yeah, nicely done by the Russian indeed. I think that Razy kind of overstepped his boundaries a little bit right there. If he had used the dual LG earlier, might have had the chance, but then he waited until basically the, the Mega spawned as he was dropping down on Cooler, and that made all the difference right there. One to one, BJ versus BJ, Razy. <laughs> the dual shoddy will get it done. He just ran in. He just it wasn't bothered. He was like, okay, I'm go I'm going for this. You're up at the LG. Okay, what's your escape route? None. Right. <laughs> Cooler, real this. Cooler realized that his opponent was committing, so he used the dual wield himself. But the dual machine gun at that range just isn't as effective as the dual shotgun. And there's items coming back up in a second. He's going to find Cooler. Misses the shot. Mega's up in a second. There is an orb, but look at these rockets. It's absolutely glorious from Razy. He's got the heavy armor. I wouldn't have even minded seeing another little delay from him. And there's the duel going in. Rockets to watch out for. Has to respect Cooler a bit over here, even if he's low. Going through that choke point, two rockets, and you're pretty much done for. Yeah, but the read is perfect. Wow. Razy knows exactly where Cooler is heading for. He wanted that health, he wanted that armor. Razy picked him up just the right spot to get himself on map point. Actually, two to one lead for Razy. So it's not. Are you just going the way you expected at the moment? I mean, for this map, yes. This right. is okay. this. Is, I think this is a map that many people would have definitely said this is going to be Razy. But the thing is, Cooler's been picking this map a lot lately too. It's that's been true. one of his go-to picks. So I. That's why at the beginning I was like, wait, okay, I had to really clarify with the admins. I wasn't told you, okay, which map was picked by which player? Because either of them picked okay, yeah. uh, corrupted key. But it's not only the map; it's also the champions on the map. And Razy okay. has got his clutch. Oh, Cooler, 46 oh, HP. Initiated. Nailgun just not strong enough, that confrontation, and this will put Razy back on the clutch. He's hungry for the refrag. Mega will be his. Both players making their way over to the heavy, though. Cooler actually dropping down to commit. This is so dangerous. There's got to be a uh, yeah. Razy frag. Yeah, there's no chance. Cooler trying to keep a cool head, trying to escape, but there is no escape. Now, how can Razy go against the Ranger? Taking quite a bit of damage already. The machine gun, that is going to hurt a lot. And now the 20 seconds until the shield is back up. What's the maximum amount of damage that he can do? As it turns out, it's quite a lot. <laughs> <laughs> but he still dies. Yeah, it's crazy. I think a little bit too aggressive in this situation. I mean, he had, didn't have all that much longer to go before she would have been back up. And now Razy dropping back down, trying to juke Cooler out of this situation. The Russian is hungry for blood. In comes the small damage with the machine gun. Razy going up. Surely this will be what? What? <laughs> Somehow survive. And the shotgun around the corner. So the champion's goal is going to be tied up over here. Razy's got a chance to take map number one from the fourth round of this. There's the dual wheel. Razy's got to get back a little bit. His passive will put him back up to 75. Mega's now been taken by Cooler. Razy's working with absolutely nothing. The only thing he's got going for him is that the fact that he's now got the dual wield and Cooler doesn't. Yeah. Oh, oh my god, that flick rocket. That's, that's direct yeah, as that's, well. That was huge. Perfect, perfect aim from Razy right there. And that's going to get rid of a lot of Cooler's stack. Now, Cooler still has the advantage. He's 100-100. Razy doesn't have any armor whatsoever. But still, that's going to equalize things a lot. But still, Razy taking the fight with the dual LG. He knows that Cooler doesn't quite have his ability up yet. He's going to keep attacking. 
because now Cooler has got the dual wheel. There's the heavy. There's the dual wheel. razy has got the option to kind of escape from that angle a little bit. Dual wheels are being well nullified by both players right now. Yeah. Cooler didn't quite feel ready to commit. Oh, that's a good play by Razy. If he would have made the jump, if he would have kept his momentum and jumped across that room, I think he would have been dead by now. Cooler had the LG, just trained on his position, ready to go. But Razy held himself and will now get the Mega for his troubles. Heavy will be up in just a few seconds. I don't think he will be able to make it over there in time. He seems to look more for exit damage. I don't think he's going to control the Heavy at the moment. Oh. Okay, nasty damage. He's got to watch out for these rockets. Cool is exceptionally good with that weapon. He gets away, but he, he sacrificed a lot in that instance. Dual wield, kind of to keep Cooler at bay. And then there's 10 seconds until the major item is next up. Yeah, this is definitely a favorable situation for Cooler. He kind of forced out dual wheel right there, or rather baited it out. Crazy! Who is now taking a lot of damage, and he's 30 seconds out from being able to use his dual wield again. As we discussed earlier, there has been a bit of a rework of how many of the hourglasses spawn on the maps, making abilities a little less common. Crazy so low. Good defensive rockets over there. Gets rid of the dual wheel. Spots him again, but he just walks into the rockets and Cooler pushes forward. And you can see he's buzzing to tie up the, the rounds there. Two for two on Corrupted Keep. Yeah, Cooler definitely a bit of a soulless Terminator during the games, but then afterwards he will let loose that little fist bump showing how happy he is. Got some good pop-offs. Yeah, definitely does. And we are starting off on his perspective for what is definitely the final round of this map. We made it all the way to round five. Cooler putting down the totem. extra HP and comes crazy. Oh. Yeah. I, I, I like the spam from Cooler on the exit. He knew it was coming and he knew that because he put the totem in front of him and not by the teleporter exit, that crazy was so likely to attack over there. And that, was, that was the best he could really drum up. I wouldn't have expected more. Yeah, no, he did a lot of damage right there, but unfortunately, two LGs is still better than one. Oh, crazy, nice jump, getting himself wow. onto the mega health and two frags in uh, under 40 seconds. This is excellent. Uh, a lot right now. I was expecting Cooler to come back a lot more in this. Heavy machine gun, used really well now. I think he wants to push with the dual lightning gun. He sees the dual with use that side. Cooler pushed off of the bounce path. That is going to be Razy with map one. Such a good play at the end by Razy, switching out to the dual wheel. Then he pushed Cooler through the window down below. And there was nowhere he could go from there. Yeah, that's it. Razy taking the first map. That's what I would have expected to happen too, but now we will be moving into cooler spec. Yep, we're going to Ruins. Yep. Um, now, over here, obviously we've got uh, the Keel and the Death Knight out. I'm expecting a Visor now, definitely yep. between at least Cooler. Because now, I'm, I've kind of been thrown off a little bit, the fact that we had Visor between Zron and Venga, and Venga didn't pick the Visor and Zron did, and the yep. game was super, super close. I, I'm wondering, is Visor maybe overrated by some people? It's a question that's kind of... He, he might very well be. I don't, I don't... I find it very difficult to say because I've always considered him like tier one and basically among the three best champions meta-wise for the better part of last six yeah. to nine months. Um, but if people are finding very good workarounds for it, you know, they, they write the meta. Absolutely. I mean, yeah, the meta is just what, what people find works best in a certain situation, mm -hmm. and perhaps Pfizer? I mean, it, it's it's a slow change, you know? It's a gradual, incremental change. We've got some updates here, some updates there, some changes to the hourglasses. Mm -hmm. uh, like, it, the, the respawn or like the reload of the uh, Pfizer site has been toned down a little bit. It doesn't last as long as it once used to, so mm -hmm. he's definitely been, been nerfed quite a bit in more ways than one. And that might be shining true at this point. Yeah, completely. So in terms of, well, we're gonna, we don't have to speculate for too much longer. We've got no. BJ Ranger. Um, I, I think Galena at the end for Cooler. If we are going to get Clutch, maybe maybe Cooler's going to go for Visor instead then, maybe get a few more rails. Clutch worked for Razy in the last map, so... No, Galena. Galena for Razy. And we're going to get Galena for Cooler. Okay, I was thinking maybe a Visor over there because it's... You can get some free rails yeah. off it. It is a large map. Um, Galena, I think, does well versus all of those other champions, but will struggle versus the clutch the most uh, if pushed into a corner. Um, 
but we'll see. You know, Kula was showing that he was good at dealing with the clutch in certain instances, but yeah. he couldn't eke out the victory in the end. Yeah, I, I was definitely expecting a visor there as well, especially since Cooler, he loves this map, he plays it slow too, and that's where that visor comes in so perfectly. Yeah. If you want to evade your opponent, that sight is invaluable. It's certainly something that uh, I'll be asking the players later today. I'm, I'm really curious what their thoughts are on visor right now. But yeah. we are moving into the game right now. Razy is going to be going clutch first. He's a map up on Cooler. This is a best of three. So the winner, well, sorry, if Razy wins this, he is going through to the grand final of this particular group. Yeah. Interesting for Reese to pick Clutch first. So far, he's always been picking that champion as like the refrag possibility. So he always led with either his BJ or his Ranger or another champion. And then he would switch on to Clutch if he lost the champion because it's so good to get that frag right back. But now he's actually leading off with the Clutch. Interesting choice. Very, very quiet. Akula's <laughs> got the LG, so Razy. He's not going to get load from defending that position. He's got good armor now. He just about avoids the rail angle that Cooler was looking for. I wonder how mobile he's going to say. You know, he, he said in the interview a couple of times he's going to be playing this a bit more carefully and yeah. more slowly. I think this is a, an example of that that we're, we're seeing now. This, I think, could very well be an extremely slow paced map. Mm -hmm. Both, I mean, we've seen that at BGL so well. Uh, Cooler just running down the clock on this one, but in comes Crazy. Cool LG wow. comes out, but yeah. Uh, pushed into a corner, up into the air, and then that mid-air rocket to finish it off. And here's oh! Cooler, what Nasty. a play! Uh. And you, you know, that was the movement mistake from Razy. If he didn't have to spend those extra second and a half getting down to the bottom, he would have gotten the heavy already. Uh, so Cooler is going to find him off this one. It's going to the skies! He's going a million miles away. <laughs> uh, somehow Razy survives all of that. Okay, never mind. It's done. It is done, finally. He will need his demise, and Cooler will have Mega for his troubles, and he's not going to have time to go to Heavy as well. I, I'm really curious if they can get an achievement for spending that much time in the air. Because that, that was a long amount of time that it was in there. There's got to be something. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Some kind of Tony Hawk that, thing going on it. I don't know. It, it should be. If it isn't, it definitely should be. <laughs> now, Cooler won. Champion in the lead. What? <laughs> crazy. The reflex is unbelievable. And that was a full shotgun yeah. blast to the face. Cooler just Point got blank. exterminated there. I, I was not expect. I blinked and uh, <laughs> uh, not even an exaggeration. Stop. Uh, crazy now with the mega health. We've got five seconds until their heavy's up. It's going to have some presence over here. Cool. Oh, it's going to have to deal with the totem a little bit. It has to do a lot of extra damage given that the heavy was taken by Razy. He wants to oh. chase and the rail is fantastic. That's going to be round one for Razy. Yeah, Razy pedal to the metal, it, he's going hard. It was super slow at the beginning, and then it just changed. Yep. Everything happened. We had like a minute, a minute and a half of really slow game, and then that first frag came out of Razy's clutch, and then immediately afterwards you had the refrag with the Ranger and just went fast from there. Razy again starting off with the clutch up against Schooler's BJ. Same thing we saw before. I really like Razy just going for the smaller weapons too. Oh, Railgun! Strange choice. That's good from uh, Cooler to try and delay a little bit. Dodge enough that Razy couldn't get a clean shotgun blast and move straight into the mining uh, mining drill. This is so good for Cooler because one, he has the dual wield, which is such a huge target, and two, Razy doesn't even have his shields ready. Razy might want to just stay here for yeah. a while. The thing for Cooler is how, how is he going to chase a bit? How is he going to close the gap? Razy shows his face a second. Cooler is going to chase directly, actually. He's not messing around in this instance. And Razy's got to run. Is there a rail on the side? Cooler can't find it in time. And look at that. Razy snuck behind him and managed to find the heavy armor. He takes a rail shot, but just surviving, I'd say, is a big win for him. Yeah, and that's, that's always a risk when you're in cooler situation. And you decide to chase and go for the frag. Because if you cannot nail your opponent down, there's a good opportunity that you just let them go, run away, and pick up one of the major items. And that's exactly what happened there. Crazy getting himself heavy. Out comes the shield and the mining laser, but he jumps oh. down. Onto that shaft. That was a little bit too much from Razy. He needed quite a bit more damage. He had to get time to fire another rocket at least. And again, the best he could have got was a mutual frag by the end of it. Really good defensive work from Cooler. Yeah, and now Razy is without his clutch, which is, of course, arguably his best champion. But out comes oh, what a midi there from Cooler. Seals the deal. If he misses that, he was 100% dead. Yeah, he had. Crazy had dual LG and Cooler survived with four points of health. That's insane. Raining down the damage from above. Both players pretty low though. 
now the pressure is on Razy. He's two frags down. He's got to make something happen. Got three minutes to work with, though, so no time pressure just yet. Good respect from Corner as well, not to overcommit above the ledge. Above the rail, sorry. Um, because if that, that rail hits, then he's possibly allowing a comeback to manifest itself. Mega's going to be up in the moment. His oh. rockets aren't terrible at all, but the hopping around from Razy, yeah. dodging forward and backwards, it was uh, it was nice footwork from Razy. Very nicely done from Razy indeed. Doesn't have many totems up. Was expecting him to try and maybe hide them somewhere nice and quiet. Get himself that extra stack, that overstack, to make his comeback happen. But seems like he's doing just fine without it. Heavy to his name, Mega. As well, look at that stack, 150, 150, and cooler. Definitely on the back foot right now. Nicely positioned by Razy. And oh. it's come the orb. Well, cooler nowhere to run. Surely will go down. Oh. Oh, that was much more risky than it should have been, but still. He just wondered if it was even going to happen at the end of the day, yeah. that frag for Razy, but he does get the rockets right at the end. There's uh, a champion left each. Oh, the rail is off. Definitely expect that one to hit. Here's one. He moves out of the corner, gets rid of the totem, looks for another rail angle on Cooler, who's got no armor at all. Razy could get the reverse sweep in round two. It was so important for Razy to hit that rail, because if he had missed it when Cooler entered the heavy room, he would have been recharging for quite some time, and Cooler were close to gap. He probably finished him off. Good damage, defensive damage coming out of Razy, though, but the rails from Cooler, they're hurting. That damage is stacking up over time. Cooler a little bit confused right there. That was like, a, a really good, go? That's a really good move from Razy to push forward and drop down by the eyeball rather than move out towards the nail gun because he could have ended up losing that race towards uh, the heavy and also given up a very important rail angle for Cooler. Good yeah. damage now for Razy. Definitely well played by Razy. Cooler was not expecting that at all and there is a big spread between the two major items. 15 seconds, about as perfect as it can get. If you want both of them, Cooler setting a good trap. Razy not ready for it. Uh, it's to say not ready, and you're right, but look at the turnaround and the damage that he did. That was astonishing. We said it earlier with that shotgun, the, the point blank shotgun, Razy's reflexes are on point. Second he is cornered, he drops down that totem, gets himself that extra HP, ready to take the fight. Ah, nice oh, oops! No! I think, he, I think he missed his jump to go on the, along the, the upper pathway. <laughs> <laughs> Razy's like, yeah, I mean, I'll take it. The shrug. No, that's fine. Uh, I think that, that's the most, like... Uh, I don't know, external thought outside the, <laughs> his focus in the game itself that I think I've ever seen from Razy. He's really just like, uh, all right then, well, moving on. Oh, oh here we go, Razy, hungry to I shut this know. one down. Oh, the mining drill. Oh, the starting shotgun again. He gets the damage going. He's willing to be super aggressive off the spawn. Cooler goes a ranger right now. I suspect he will be able to refrag, but close that gap quickly. And I think he went for the starting machine gun instead of the starting shotgun, which I, I don't know if I call it a mistake necessarily, but I feel like you've got a lot of advantage. You can do great damage with the starting shotgun, even from like a mid to long distance, just because that's how big clutch is. Yeah. And despite the fact that it was Razy who got the frag, it's actually Cooler who's in control. And that's definitely entirely due to all the rails he hit with. Oh, oh no. no, the overshoot. Cooler doesn't have rockets, but LG will manage just fine. Razy pushed away once again. Cooler looking to finish it off right here. And he will see take down Razy one to one. He took again. his time. He took his time there. Yeah. I mean, he has time. He got, the, he, got time. The, he got the job done. That's what matters. Got the nail gun coming in. Razy is very weak. It seems like a bit of an over aggressive play, but he, he's got such an advantage on Cooler, just map wise, round wise at the moment. But if you can just clean it up quickly, it's like, it's like, why not? Try yeah, those two strats straight away. I mean, he's got some chips to work with. He can afford to lose out in a fight here and there. Just can't do much of it. No, Cooler landing a good rail, pushing Razy back a little bit. Happy will be up in five seconds. Next major point of contest. And both players look like they're going for it. Cooler using that orb. Rockets just aren't connecting. And this was a good good trade by Razy. Yeah, if he had the rail there, I think that fight would have been open. We'd be down to last champion each. He's going to get more LG. I'd love to see Razy picking up the rail gun very soon. He's going to lose out on mega health, but that's what he has to do in order to get a clear route. I must say that his Galena hasn't truly really been working all that well for him on this map. We haven't seen either player really get that overstack going. I don't know if they go for that so much anymore. We saw Razy get two totems on Karate Keep before, but he wouldn't put the third one down yeah. because it's so useful to have mid-combat. Okay, we've got an aggressive move from Cooler going up to T. 
He gets a raise, he gets a good rocket. Cooler gets a good rocket. Cooler secures now the mega health. He's taken both of the major items. Razor just biding his time. Oh my god, he does the totem damage as well! Direct rocket to totem, back to rocket. He's got five seconds now until the heavy's going to be up. Yeah, very Ra nice. First time we're seeing that on this map, but this is so dangerous for Razor. He's got such little HP. Oh! Heavy went to him, but it wasn't enough. So, so close. Razy really wanted to decide that fight right there. I don't yeah. think he had to commit to the heavy. It didn't seem like he had exact timing, or if he did, he was just willing to take the risk. Yeah. I think it's just, it's too tantalizing, you know? You are that first map up. You are two rounds up. You need one more frag yeah. to advance to the finals. He just won it. And I think that he, he overextended. Here we go. Razy doesn't even try to go for that fight. Probably for the best, since he only had the starting shotgun. With both Mega and Heavy going to the Hungarian player. He does need the rocket still. Shield up straight away. Oh, he does actually hit a direct over there. The sliding shotgun wise, that is. Yeah. Now Razy is on the chase. He does still need his rocket set up for Mega. In comes Moor. Heavy nail gun. Such an effective weapon, especially against the champion as big as Clutch. Definitely the easiest champion in the entire game to hit. So Nailgun works wonders against him. Crazy deciding not to uh, contest for the heavy. He's gonna leave it be. Yeah, I think that's fair enough. Yeah. He's not got that shield up. He's not going to, uh, to sacrifice unless he knows his opponent's weak. So he's definitely got strong awareness. Just give up items if there's any single chance. He could just get eliminated. And he's gonna have one round away. I mean, time to play it. Careful. I, Razy is the type of person who could go a minute into a, a round, have a champion lead, and actually think, right, I can play defensive and passive and actually do it successfully. Yeah. He's definitely going to get some more armor to do that, though. He was still at 70 points of armor as opposed to the Cooler's massive 170. Cooler will catch him out, and he's going to commit with the chase. Razy has to use his shield defensively for once. Nice rail. So now he might be in trouble. Cooler doesn't push his luck just yet, but Razy's still stuck in a very bad corner. Is Cooler gonna go in for the frag or is he gonna establish full control of the map? He will just back off. So a lot last time they did this, uh, Razy got away and he picked up the heavy armor. So he doesn't want to allow that to happen once more. He's got his all back. He knows he can come back with this champion. If he can close the gap, we'll get some entry damage. But first, he's got to spot the champion. And Razy just sees him go through the teleporter and is like, all right, I can safely get this hourglass. I'm almost back to a stage where only the orb is going to be massively frightening. Yeah. Mega is up and it is going to cooler. And as you might have predicted, we're a minute ahead since we last talked about it. And Reezy is still just playing a passive game. He's not just looking for this fight. Just chill here. Just yeah. get a coffee. Yeah, let's just. He's going to get up from his chair and wait for another two minutes and 30 seconds. I would love to see that one day, actually. Like, I, I genuinely want to see a player do that. I just get up and go over <laughs> to, like, their opponent's computer and just start watching the game from their eyes. Kind of laughing maybe, when you're going maybe, the wrong way. Maybe there's some like sports sportsmanship rules that's breaking, or some maybe, actual maybe. rules that have been broken as well. <laughs> but I watching mean, your opponent's screen probably not the best idea to do in a land. But here we go. Cooler might find Razy. Nope, but he does manage to force out the shield, kind of inadvertently, I think. He didn't know that Razy was there at all. He just kind of strolled on by, and Razy panicked, used the shield. This is so good for Cooler. He's got his orb, using his rocket jump to get up there. He's got to hit those rails. Every single rail on clutch were. He's exposing any amount of his robot body. He's yeah. uh, it's got to land, and that's two minutes. Over two minutes that have now been killed by Razy. Yeah, what first seemed like a pipe dream might be a reality soon. Razy's only got a minute and forty seconds to go. It's the type of thing that Cooler would also do to a player, though. Oh yeah, Cooler definitely did. We saw it a lot at BGL on this map too. Yeah, Cooler playing it so slowly. Just waiting it out, and that's exactly what Razy is planning to do against him, it, it, too. Is he going to be successful? The question is, has he, he's done it now for two and a half minutes. I'm super curious if he's got what it takes to, to pull it off, because it's still very, very difficult to do. If he gets caught out, or if Cooler actually does start hitting the rails when he's got a chance, the thing is, Razy's got to be a few steps ahead in order to not even expose himself to the rail shot. That's really difficult to do. Yeah. Razy's playing this expertly, though. He is hitting, like, he's hitting almost every single rail. Cooler's not hitting rails on the clutch. Two, so. 230 points of armor. Just wanted to point that out. That's an absolutely enormous number for Razy, even if Cooler does seconds. manage to find them. 50 seconds left. In Cooler's advantage, though, he is on Ranger, and that is probably the best clutch slayer 
for this scenario. He can get that orb through the shield and do a lot of damage that way. But is it going to be a last second surprise? 35 now left for, for Razy to get to the end. He's holding on to it. The thing is, if Cooler uses his orb to get up to the top, then he suddenly doesn't have it in the fight. There's a bit of LG. He gets caught around the corner. Orb's not going to work. He's going to use one rocket for some offense. And now he's just running away. There's no shield up. The orb, he can get back up before the 22nd mark. But he's chasing directly for the moment. And Razy, he's just running. He's absolutely running right now. 10 seconds to go. And he's just waiting. Where, where is Cooler coming from? If he sees him go through the set, then it's through the teleporter. Out the other end. Three seconds, two, one, and that is going to be Razy taking it, 3-1, and he wow. gets into the winner bracket final of his group. We were both proven wrong, Suit. We both thought that Cooler had the better odds of winning this yeah. one, but in the end it is Razy taking it 2-0 even in maps. He slammed him. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, map one was pretty close in the end, but uh, map two, Razy doing doing a fantastic job. This is a very different result to what we saw at uh, the on the ESWC, yeah. um, where it was quite a convincing victory for Cooler. But here, when it's mattering, Razy, yeah. Razy yeah. looking. And we saw a variety of different play styles there. He had the defense. He had the aggression. It, it played every single champion he pretty much did well with. Yeah. And I mean, it's not just Cooler. Yeah. He first had to beat Cypher to even get this far. So Razy is on fire. Yeah. And he will either be playing Cooler or Razy again. But before we get into that, we're going to jump right back into the interview with the winner. Conservative, a little bit more careful. You really weren't joking. That was, but at the end of the day, even though it wasn't the flashiest way to finish, it was a very, very strategic match that you just played there with Kula. Yeah, I, uh, I know it's not very exciting to watch Clutch run away for four minutes, but I'm at an event, I want to win. So I'm trying to play careful as, as much as I can. And uh, it is really hard to play Clutch. Uh, after he's been nerfed so hard. So if you're not picking the right moment to engage in a fight, you're gonna die. So I just backed off and I felt like it's uh, not favoring me. Both of you mentioned that you weren't necessarily sure what the other player was going to bring to the table because it's been a while since you guys have seen each other like at land, top of your game, important match. What was the best thing or the most positive thing that you saw out of Cooler's playstyle during that match? What did he do particularly well? It's really hard to tell, but he was uh, always around to deal damage. Uh, even if it was just chip damage, splash damage, whatever, he was always there. And uh, I, always, I was always careful not to uh, end up being dire orb. And even like that, I got once. So <laughs> it's really hard to play against him. He is very good in every aspect of the game. Well, you've now made your way, of course, to the decider match or the grand final for your group, and that means you're guaranteed a one-map advantage whoever you end up playing against. So, based on how you're playing now, is that going to be massive? Is that something you're going to be relying on? Or, actually, are you quite confident that even without that, you're doing well enough to progress today? Well, one map at a time, but it's always a huge advantage. And I'm just glad that I am the one uh, having the map advantage this time. All right, well, congratulations once again. Razy through to the decider match now, and we will shortly be finding out who is going to progress from groups A and B to play in the semifinals tomorrow. Analyze.